so I think everybody probably sees this as well, but what I see here is, in a pretty cool way, even though it wasn't what was intended, a list of goals, objectives, and strategies. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to still go down and use the same temp check model, and then the people who get together and form a strategy based off of these things can weave this thing together so that some things are goals, some things are the objectives that fit into the goals, and some things are the strategies, the, like the actual actions that support the objectives and goals. Does everybody feel comfortable with that yeah. process based on the list that we have here? Is anybody not comfortable with that process? I'm a little bit unclear. That's what we're doing tonight? No. Okay. No. All, like all we're doing tonight, <laughs> all that's left tonight, is to temp check every single one of these okay, gotcha. and see where we stand on every one of these and then it's going to go to a working group, a strategy working group that will form this into something that's clear and gotcha. hopefully really pretty concise. The best strategic plans I've ever seen fit on one piece of paper, mm -hmm. one page. Yep. And it's a diagram that says, here. if you look, there's a little infographic that's colored in like a drawing. If you happen to find that around, it kind of looks like this. Like this is what I think it'll come out to. One, two, three, four goals, and then you know one objective, two objectives, one, two objectives, and then each one of these guys has their own little strategy. You know, I'm saying that's not very clear, but it'll just literally be a piece of paper that that is broken down into boxes with really concise goals, objectives, and strategies, and then the actual tactics that go into the strategies will have to be written out more clearly for each one. Um, so, let's go down and temp check these things. Um, point of clarification. Um, I'm trying to keep a summary for the website purposes so I can get kind of, Is this something that's going to need to be you know, typed up and put out for the website, or is this something that we're holding on to at the moment? Um, who want, let's temp check. Who wants to put this out, what we've got right here, at, not as like official documentation, but as Process documentation. As you mean the minutes? The minutes? Like we put um, out minutes. Email? No, no. Except what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a blog post tonight on, on the website. Just what? the question is what's on. here. Um, this could very well be in the blog as far as what we've come up with, or we can keep it close to our chest and just in, and not get the word out like that. Okay, so I'm just asking how do y'all want me to proceed with the summarization of tonight's nice meeting? I guess the, is the question. Are we comfortable putting this in the minutes? Yeah. That's basically the question, right? Point the process. Um, yeah, I was going to say, should we wait until we've consensed upon the things yes. to put them on the website? Because as it is now, we have a consensus upon these things. Yeah, that's why I'm, that, it'll save me a lot of work if, I, yeah, if we, if we yeah. I know that I'm going to put this out. Well, uh, I'm describing, so. I know, but I'm doing something <laughs> separate, different. But He's, but he's doing this area, but I'm doing this also with this area, but I'm not person. So how about this? How about let's go through the temp check process, and then we'll see if we just, if we want to put what's temp checked as positive up on the website. And if there's more we want to do, we can ask about that, and we'll do it then. Can you think about the temp check? Uh, I'm pretty much in favor of everything there. Should I just vote for the things that I feel are strongly yeah. about? Vote for every, no, this is because this is, being a consensus-based model, it needs 90% to become a part of our strategic yeah. plan. So vote for everything you feel strongly about. Vote down for anything you feel very, like, really strongly about not being in there because you don't want it to be a part of this plan. And just stand aside, if you, even if you have some reservations, but you're okay with, you're okay with it going through. Um, for the dissenting votes, can we just... If, if you're going to do for and against, when it's against, can we have just people raise their hands and not go like this? Because this is really hard to see. <laughs> and it'll slow the process sure. down. Is everybody good with that? Okay, so we'll just say, put your hands up if you're for, put your hands up if you're against. Two separate things. Okay. Does that make sense? Clarification? So what exactly happens then if we have a 90% consensus vote on a point that's on the bullets and bullets? But that exactly happens. How is that adopted and related back into Occupy So then what would happen is that essentially it gives authority to a strategy group that would form, basically if you're interested in being a part of building this into a strategic document, stick around after the meeting, we'll talk, we'll post it on the website, it'll be very transparent and open, so anybody who wants to be at that meeting can be in it, but it will be a smaller meeting. 
those tend to be able to do this kind of thing better. Um, and then they will take the things that were consensed upon, and that's what they have the authority to build into a strategic document. Make sense? Is everybody cool with that? Everybody supportive of that as a process? Anybody Fair against question. that as a process? Yeah. Fair question. Well, if you think that something's an all right idea, just great and everything, but you don't think the big group should be spending time on it. Is that a that's a stand aside. Just don't vote. Unless you feel strongly enough that like it would piss you off that we spent any time on that. I mean, yeah. like your down vote can keep it off the list, and that's actually pretty powerful, is the point. But if there's a lot of other people who are really interested in investing time and energy in that, it would probably be respectful to the group if you don't care that much to not pull up those people from putting this in the strategic plan. Clarification? And then that comprehensive document would then need to be brought back to GA for, for full consensus. consensus. Oh, good. Yes. But we will at the very least have a list of things coming out of tonight that we all know we're pretty into, which is a good start. Okay? Point of clarification. Are we establishing that there's no discussion about this? We're just voting. No this? discussion. Thank you for clarifying that. We're not discussing any of these points. We're just temp checking them. <laughs> there's enough on this list that we'll be okay. <laughs> Standing aside, that leaves out the stand aside vote, doesn't it? Well, then, Sorry, no, just how? 
Uh, but stand aside will be left out for voting purposes anyways. Um, how about how about you can say when we downvote, you can stand aside if you really want to stand aside by going like this. Make sense? Does that feel comfortable? Okay. Point of clarification. Sorry, um, I'm curious as to what the staying aside um, does to our consensus. Does that change the nine percent required, the number of nine percent? So they're just not counted, but so. I guess my point is that you would never reach 90% consensus voting yes if 50% of people stood aside. That's not possible. No, because our, what we vote, like we count down votes. So you count stand aside as yes. Yes. Yes, yes. That, that's what stand aside means. It means I have reservations, but I'm stand letting this go ahead. I'm Wait, not so stopping. So they're being counted. I, I'm just, I needed a clarification. Yes. They're being counted as yeses for the purpose of this. Right. I just thought that needed to be clear. Right. But, but it expresses reservation with the idea. So that so it, it is important that we be able to show stand aside in addition to down vote to show that there are some reservations. So this is actually the temperature process rather than the process. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay, are we okay with at least moving forward with that process? Let's do it. 
Anybody against moving ahead with that process? Okay, we're going to move ahead with that process. Um, what I'll do, we'll just, I won't even do stars, I'll do percentages, how about that? So, this one was 100%. Support Marty Jewell's free speech zone, including, but, but also <laughs> allowing for demonstrations in other places besides that one. 100% what? That was 100% consensus. Was it 100% consensus? On tip-check. 100% attention, excuse me. Are you counting Yes. I know, I know this is frustrating, but this is important to know. I mean, I, yeah, I'm just no, curious actually, because it's if... it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think it's a question for facilitation because the point that I brought up was really important. I mean, I, I, mean, I think this is facilitation. Quite a process. If we don't want to continue with this process, then we need to make that known now instead of going around in a circle. So I, I move to, for us to take a uh, temp check right now on whether we want to go with what the facilitator is trying to facilitate here or not. Okay, second. Who wants to move ahead with this process tonight? Does anybody not want to move ahead with this process? One, two. Anyone else that I'm missing? Three. <coughs> Okay, but we had we had over fifty, right? So it would take over six. It would take six. It would take six. Right? Or it would take five. What does it take? It takes five. Five people. Okay. Um, so if you want to stand aside, say you're standing aside. I'll make a notation that there was a stand aside on that, but we're also going to do it based on our voting process that we've had before, which is that when you disagree and you want to stop consensus, you say no. Okay? That's how we're going to do it. We're going to try and start meeting. Go after and affect the Virginia General Assembly. Is this something that we value and want to make a part of our strategic plan? Okay, one down. Uh, okay, so everybody in support, everybody down. Who, who does not support this? Excuse me. Who does not support this? One, two, and, a, and an abstain. Okay. Two, two, one. Two abstains? Two abstains. Or two stand asides. Alright. Okay. Uh, support Marty Jewel's free speech zone, but also make it so that uh, we can limit, that demonstrations can also. Encourage legislation so that demonstrations can take place in other places besides Kanawha as well. Um, who does not support this idea or, or abstains? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve abstains, and one down that I see. Or two downs and thirteen three downs. and three downs. If there, if you're down, yeah, please, please do this. this. Oh, okay. Thank you. One, two, three. Three down. Three down. <laughs> Is that in your abstain? Hands in the air. Hands in the air. Please. Okay. Right. I want to make sure we get this. Okay, yeah. So, right. Four against and four abstains. Five, or no, it's like. So I, I'm not. <coughs> who abstains? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. Eleven. Okay. So four. Four and eleven. Okay. Support the May 1st general strike. Who is against this? I'm not seeing anyone against this. Who, is, who abstains from the May 1st general strike? Raise your hand high. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, refocus efforts on economic justice. Who does not like this? Who's against this? Any, any point of process? Did we count no's on that last one? Yeah. There were no yeah, no's no. that I saw. Okay, who, who abstains from this one? Zero and We all have souls. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, uh, Orba becomes more established, a prominent force. Who's against this? <laughs> read that again. <laughs> yeah, read that again. <laughs> Orba becomes a prominent force. Anyone against? <laughs> Are any? <laughs> One against. We'll have Anybody have seen? Later. Um, throw a wrench in the two-party 2012 election. Who's against? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Who abstains? Really? Eleven, I, I'm counting. So that was seven and eleven, right? Do we have a lot of Democrats in here? Taking a space. Who's against this idea? Taking a space. Taking a space. Reoccupation. One, two, three. Who abstains? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Three and eleven. Uh, focus on outreach. Who's against? Who abstains? Okay. Uh, help establish neighborhood assemblies. Who's against this? Who abstains? One, two, three, four. Um, increase visibility to edu to educate the public and increase membership. Who's against? Who's who abstains? One. Um, raise the orb of profile. We just did that, so that's like more. We done this stuff. Yeah, so this is doubling up on this one here. Are they the exact same ones? Now it's going to look like a little. Might as well be. They're they're very close. Are they? They're the same. Thank you. Um, promote networking relationships with existing groups. Anybody against this? One. Anybody, uh, anybody abstain? One, two. One and three. So, this could just be me, but not voting in a sense, but voting for, though it makes sense time wise. Makes this seem, I don't know, like a lot less exciting to me. <laughs> 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 so so like, okay, I'm wrong. Now. Sorry. Uh, fight the DAA. Anybody against this? Anybody against fighting and DAA? No. It, one. Anybody abstain? One. Okay, plan for local currency and networks for resource sharing. Anybody against this? One, two. two. Anybody have seen? Stop foreclosures. Anybody against this? Anybody abstain? One, two, three, four, five. five. That was 
zero and five, right? Okay. Be more involved with transport unions. Anybody against this? One, two, three. Anybody abstain? Um, collaborate with community garden organizations to expand network of community gardens. Anybody against this? One. Anybody have seen? One, two, three, four. Am I missing anybody? One and four. Encourage moves from big banks to cre and credit cards, away from big banks and credit cards. Anybody abstain or anybody against this? Anybody abstain? So zero and four. Promote election campaign reform. Which includes getting money out of politics. That was, there was, both of those included in that. Against? One. And, anybody have seen? Protests most guilty of influencing crimes against humanity. Anybody against that? Creatively protest those most guilty of crimes against humanity. I'm not voting against, I want a clarification. Clarification. That was a little unclear to me. Could whoever did that one read that one out? sold out if these people have committed a massive crime and no uh, sort of justice has been committed yet. Well, I get that, but I mean, could we change influencing to perpetrating? Because, I mean, hopefully we're influencing these crimes to stop, even though we're not perpetrating them. I just don't think that's good grammar. I'm sorry. I just can't vote for it because it doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, that's okay. There are processes everywhere. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think, I think that what's happening is, is the concern that this is a language thing yes. and part of the challenge of the language thing. Yes. So vote against it. So vote against it if you don't like it. Um, yes. We're just taking a tip check on how it is for the board. Okay. So you're saying vote against. I mean, you're saying, are we doing a vote against? If you don't understand it, if you don't understand those things. If you don't totally agree with it as is, then vote against it. So let's do that. This is okay, we're against. Those against. Yeah, read it once Sorry. Um, it, it says, um, creatively protest those that are most guilty um, of crimes against humanity. And apparently this is in the context of, um, of the bankers and the financial folks. Uh, All right. You, okay, we've got the language in the minutes. How about that? Would you like to hear it really quick? The, the exact language? Okay. Yes, um, please, to, quick. To creatively protest those most guilty of influencing crimes against humanity and the systematic oppression from financial entities. That's what we said earlier. Okay. Those against? One. 
for those who can't devote a lot of time on the website and such. Action points. Those against. Those abstaining. One. Zero and one. Develop expression of methods separate from Facebook. Those against. Those abstaining. Affect social change via education. Take a vote on that. <laughs> 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 
social change via, so, via education. Those against? <coughs> Those abstaining? Be more clear about overwhelming desire to get money out of politics. Those against? Um, Raise awareness about real problems in our that our community and faces, including social injustice, economic injustice, classism, racism, sexism, and homophobia, etc. Those against. Those abstaining. Zero one. Um, raise awareness about. Oh, Know ourselves, Orva, better, a, becoming a permanent organization with unified thought and collective, through unified thought and collective study. Those against? One. Two. Mm. Those abstaining? Mm. One. Can you read that again? I don't know if they heard people heard that correctly. Okay. Know ourselves better and turn or Orba into a permanent organization with unified thought through collective study. Is that whoever did that proposal? Right. Yell at me if it's wrong. <laughs> Those right. Okay. Those against?
So I've been responding to when when people from their work who from their groups told me that what they that the wording that was up here was not clear enough. That's how I've been doing it. I, at least I think that's how I've been doing it. But if, if you feel like I did not do it that way, or if you feel like that something that was a part of your group wasn't addressed in that manner, we can readdress it. But that was what I was trying to do. So, coming back to the Unified Community Campaign, as was, as was read from the minutes. Those against? One. Those abstaining? Two. Those abstaining? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That was two or two and twelve? Um, two and twelve. Increase occupies political participation. Those against? One, two, three, four, five, six, wow. seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Those abstaining? One, two, three, four, five, five. I guess you really. Um, ten and five. Um, positive image development. Those against? One. Those abstaining? One. <laughs> uh, reclaim the food system. Those against? Those abstaining? Marijuana law reformation fight the drug war. Those against? Increase occupy slash political involvement of the general populace. Just to let you know that I'm not saying we should create our own political party and start running candidates in our system. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So those abstaining from get corporate money out of politics, or those against? Those abstaining. Okay. Unless anybody else feels mangled. Um, well, that one was mangled. 
Do you, do we need to address that one? No, I just wanted to, to let you know that I was there was not actually a suggestion on board to to do what I, I think it sounded like. Yeah, based on it's 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 okay. Yeah, it's still pending. So do we want okay. to do that one like really quick? What, what can you explain that one clearly? Yeah. The per, the um, the suggested item is increase um, increase political and occupy participation among the general populace. So get more people in the general populace? Into politics and into Occupy, not Occupy into politics. <coughs> okay. Sorry, I, I wrote a slash in, but I think I read it as like an I, and then when I transposed it, it just, sorry, that was a... So increase there. public participation and Occupy and in, in Occupy and the political process. Yes. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, those against, can you count? Increase. Zero. Those one, one, or, one and abstaining. Zero. Okay. Thank you all. Um, let's just move right along into announcements so we can be done. Oh. Okay, so yeah, this we need to know where we're going to be on Thursday for GA. We set a GA meeting for Thursday. Can I make a suggestion that we set a meeting house as a default location, and an alternate location we have to have at least 24-hour notice. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have the combo presence at the general assembly. Are we supportive of having a default location as here at Friends Meeting House with at least 24 hours notice to change that location? Those supporting? Those against? Till the end of February based on the current calendar. Till the end of February based on the current calendar we may have to change things. Um, and we may be at the General Assembly. So, okay. clarification time. Sunday's five, weekdays seven. Sunday is at five, week Thursdays are at seven, according to what we just agreed upon today. Um, point of clarification? Um, this is just something to counter, I guess, in some degree. I think that's good, but I feel like we should still have an agenda item to change the location, um, just for in the interest of um, not having it be where only uh, certain people can come. That, uh, I want to have several locations that we can come to over the next few months so that anyone is able to. Okay, can we bring that up at a future GA yeah. changing location? Mark. Mark. Yeah, I have an announcement. Okay, let's just flow right into announcements and take a stack on announcements.